Some days it feels like we're all just waiting for it to hit close to home. Right now, a shooting on Madison's north side Friday morning leaves one dead. The reaction from the community after another violent incident. And we are going to be watching for severe weather. We'll give you the latest coming up. Good morning and thanks for joining us on News 3 Now this morning. I'm Shane Hogan. And I'm Julian Seawright. We've got a lot to get to today, but first we're going to start with some weather. we got kind of an active day to get to, right? That's right, we do. And then one of those things is going to be the heat, folks. But outside of that, we are looking at some storms that are going to be potentially rolling in for our evenings when we're going to be expecting. But for right now, from the lunchtime hour around noon till 8 p.m., we have a heat advisory in effect for areas just southwest of Dane County. Now, as we continue throughout the rest of today, we are having that alert day in effect for us. This is going to be later this afternoon into our evening and nightly hours. Scattered thunderstorms are looking to develop, which will be bringing in threats of high winds. Hail and tornadoes are also possible, but to be associated with these storms. But as we're waking up this morning and heading out the door, folks, it is uh, quite disgusting out. We can wear the weather as it is 70 degree dew points from many areas and 76 degrees over towards Platteville, almost unbearable in terms of how much moisture is in our atmosphere atmosphere, which is going to be setting us up for later into this evening with the storm chances really starting to roll in as the heat continues to increase and we have an abundance of sunshine. Right now on the radar, we did see storms just south of Dane County outside of Rock and Green County early in the overnight hours, but now we're going to be dry for at least the next few hours and on top of it again, we're going to have an abundance of sunshine, but taking a look at what we are going to be anticipating for us is that severe weather threat again, enhanced risk for much of central and for southern Wisconsin is going to be encompassing those areas. We'll talk about the threats and timeout, when to expect it in just a few moments, Shane, but things might get a little hairy this evening. I, I love the phrase wearing the weather. I think that's the first <laughs> I've heard that one. Yeah, appreciate I appreciate it. Yeah. Gotta keep it fresh. <laughs> you got it. Julian C. Wright, we appreciate you. Yep. Madison police are investigating a deadly shooting on Friday morning on the city's north side. An 18 year old was found shot and killed in a stolen car in the middle of Volens Street just off North Sherman Avenue. But shell casings were also found at a second location a couple miles away on Vera Court. Our Tahalil Mohadeen spoke with law enforcement and people in the area who are calling this a sad and frustrating situation. When Philip Heiner heard two loud noises on his street, he didn't know what they were. There was noise every night, so this was early in the morning, so I, it, I, the thought crossed my mind, but I didn't really know what it was. So he looked outside his window on Volen Street to see what was going on. A couple minutes later, a white car went driving by here real fast. According to Madison police, those loud noises were gunshots, and that car was stolen. And soon after, officers arrived on scene to find the car in the middle of the road. Inside it, there was an 18-year-old shooting victim with life-threatening injuries. In need of emergency medical care. And despite efforts by first responders, the victim was pronounced dead at the scene. It's hard for the community at large. It's hard for police officers and paramedics and firefighters who respond to these events. Um, I don't think anybody wants this for our community. There's a family with a kid across the street, so I just remember thinking to myself, like, you know, if that car came by and I was them, I'd be, like, screaming at him. That kid is Carly Marco's three-year-old, who was home with his dad when it all happened. It's heartbreaking to find out that someone lost their life today and that I know my neighbors will be more anxious because of it. Marco is thankful for her family's safety, but saddened by the loss of a young life. I mean, 18 is a child, and it just breaks my heart as a parent. She views the deadly shooting as a sobering reality check on the state of gun violence, but is also determined to continue fostering community. We're just really comfortable here, and, and I don't see us stopping that. Madison police do believe this was a targeted incident. As of last night, no arrests have been made. Thursday night, the Dane County Board paved the way for a gun buyback program. The board approved a resolution to provide funding for the program, which will be run by the Dane County Sheriff's Office and Madison Police Department. The event, tentatively scheduled for August 13th, gives residents a chance to safely dispose of unwanted guns. And just across the Iowa state line, four people have died in a shooting at Makokta Caves State Park that's located about 35 minutes south of Dubuque. The Department of Criminal Investigation has confirmed that the suspected shooter is among the dead. The park will remain closed as the investigation continues. 
Two Wisconsin police departments yesterday received the same bomb threat in what appeared to be a swatting incident involving a technical college. The Menominee Police Department posted on its Facebook page about an incident involving a reported bomb threat at the Menominee Chippewa Valley Technical College. The Eau Claire Police Department says it received the same threat. And Thursday here in Madison, a bomb threat led to the evacuation of the Wisconsin Technical College System building on University Avenue. The building was evacuated and cleared a short time later. So far, it's not known if these incidents are connected. Health officials are now investigating monkeypox cases involving children in the U.S. Yesterday, the CDC reported confirmed cases in children. One case involves a toddler in California. The other is an infant who is not a U.S. resident. The CDC says the cases are the result of household transmission and not related. On the COVID front, as of yesterday, public health officials say Dane County's community spread has risen back into the high category. Now that means people are once again encouraged to wear masks indoors. The CDC determines a community's, community's level spread based on new reported cases per 100,000 people, new regional hospital admissions, and the percent of regional inpatient beds occupied by COVID patients over the past week. Right now, we're being both reactive and proactive. You know, we have to react to this new variant and the level of spread. And at the same time, we have the ability to be proactive to reduce that spread. And so we're, you know, as a lot of other people have said, you know, we're done with COVID, but COVID's not done with us. Public Health Madison and Dane County says an average of 64 people were hospitalized with COVID last week. President Biden didn't let a COVID-19 diagnosis stop him from working yesterday. The White House doctor says his mild symptoms have improved since testing positive earlier this week. But it'll be another few days before the president can return to in-person work. Natalie. By turning the floor over. Working through his COVID infection. Let me start by apologizing my voice. I'm feeling much better than I sound. President Biden sounded hoarse while discussing gas prices virtually with his economic team. I led the world to coordinate the largest release of oil reserves in history. But the 79-year-old commander-in-chief flashed a thumbs up when asked how he was feeling. In a letter, White House doctor Kevin O'Connor said the president's mild symptoms have improved. A 99.4 degree temperature Thursday night came down with Tylenol and has remained normal since then. The doctor also recommended starting low-dose aspirin as a temporary alternative to the president's normal blood thinner, which has to be halted during the five-day course of the COVID antiviral drug Paxlovid. All of his vitals have always been in the normal range. White House COVID response coordinator Dr. Ashish Jha credited the president being fully vaccinated and double boosted for his mild case. With the Omicron subvariant BA5 sweeping the country, Jaw urged all Americans to take precautions. We have a very contagious variant. People will get infected. Our absolute priority is making sure that when people get infected, they don't get seriously ill. The White House says 17 people have been identified as close contacts of the president, including senior staff and members of Congress. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. All of the close contacts have tested negative so far, including First Lady Jill Biden. The president will stay in isolation until at least Wednesday and can return to in-person work after a negative test. Another effort to address the nationwide baby formula shortage. President Biden just signed a new bipartisan bill into law called the Formula Act. The bill suspends tariffs on certain formula products until the end of the year. A federal jury has found Steve Bannon guilty of contempt of Congress. The charges stem from his refusal to testify, testify before the January 6th committee. After nearly two days of hearing evidence and witness testimony, the jury reached a unanimous verdict in less than three hours. Bannon is set to be sentenced on October 21st. According to federal law, Bannon faces a minimum sentence of 30 days in jail. Bannon says he is planning to appeal, and we will have more coverage of Bannon and the January 6th committee hearings coming up at, at uh, 830. On Sunday, the Republican hopefuls running for Wisconsin governor will square off on stage for the first time. The event is being held at Marquette University's Varsity Theater. Three candidates have been confirmed to attend the debate. Former Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish, Tim Michaels, and State Representative Tim Ranthan. It will start at 6 p.m.
And in more local news this morning, Madison's Vision Zero program is getting ready to roll out its next set of speed limit reductions. Starting on Monday, the section of East Washington Avenue between Stoughton Road and East Springs Drive will have a speed limit of 35 miles per hour. More speed reductions are also planned for later this year. To see where we have all those plans, we have a link posted on channel3000.com. And another traffic note for you this morning. South Blair Street is now open to both sides of traffic for the first time in two months. It's been closed in order to speed up the construction process. The project's goal focus on safety improvements at the hairball intersection downtown. The entire project is set to be completed by the fall of 2023. And after 16 years of brewing, the owners of Ale Asylum say they are closing their doors. The brewery, which first opened in 2006, made the announcement online last night. The business out by Dane County Regional Airport was put up for sale last year, with the brewery's owners citing the monthly lease on the property becoming too much to handle. Still ahead this morning, the Monona Terrace celebrates a milestone. We've got the details for tonight's festivities, and you're taking a live look over the Capitol. Julian is back with the forecast after this. Every day, News 3 Now investigates. As owner of Wisconsin's largest construction company, I have a blueprint, a plan for every project. So here's mine for Wisconsin. I'll stand up to the radical left and their socialist agenda. We'll back the blue and get tough on violent crime. Bad guys, they're not gonna like me. I'll crack down on election fraud and keep schools open five days a week, no matter what Fauci says. I'm Tim Michaels, and that's my plan. Now let's get to work. Remember as a kid, if you could dream it, you could do it? Well, you still can. Now during the Ford Summer Supercharged Sales Event, and with great offers on select Ford vehicles. Just move on. You'll not only bring back the fun, you'll supercharge it. So when the sun goes down, you'll just be getting started. Now place your order and lock in 2.9% APR for 60 months on select F-150 trucks and you're protected, even if rates go up before your order comes in. Have you ever experienced this view? Hi, Andrew Larson here. With gutter shutter, you'll never have to experience it again. Please give up this dangerous chore and protect your home's foundation with Gutter Shutter, the strongest, most durable, maintenance-free gutter on the market. Over the past 15 years, my team has installed thousands of maintenance-free gutter systems across South Central Wisconsin. We'd love to come out and show you what Gutter Shutter can do for you and your home, but most importantly, keep you safe and off that ladder. So call today for a free estimate. Helpful hints for you from Meineke. While there's no light on the dash to alert you about broken air conditioning, you'll surely feel it. A non-performing air conditioning system can make a summer road trip unbearably hot. Meineke has basic air conditioning inspections, and if there's a problem, Meineke can get your system working again in no time. And with four locations in the Madison area, there's always a Meineke nearby. Set up your appointment at Meineke.com today. Madison Magazine Summer Restaurant Week is here. Participating restaurants will provide a three-course meal starting at $30, featuring wine and more, starting July 24th through the 29th. For a list of participating restaurants, menus, and details, visit madisonrestaurantweek.com. It's a perfect opportunity to sample some of Madison's local restaurants. Don't miss Madison Magazine Summer Restaurant Week 2022. Presenting sponsor, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund. Wine sponsor, Delicato and Frederick Wildman. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Well, folks, we have a lot to unpack for this morning as we have a heat advisory in effect starting at noon until 8 p.m. this evening for the highlighted areas, mainly just southwest of Dane County. And here's why we're going to be seeing some real heat rolling in here in southern Wisconsin areas throughout much of uh, our viewing area is going to be looking at into those lower triple digits, especially just southwest. But even here in Madison, we could be 
uh, flirting with those triple digits as well. The good news is, though, it's going to cool down by the time we get into the overnight hours as that cool fr cold front starts to roll its way in. However, we do have an alert day in the forecast. This is for this afternoon, this evening, going into tonight. Scattered thunderstorms are looking to develop as a cold front starts to roll its way through, bringing in the threats of high winds, hail, and fourth tornadoes to be possible as well. So this is what we're seeing on our surface map as of right now. Radar, over the last few hours, we did see some showers and storms, mainly south of Dane County near the northern Illinois state line. However, we're going to be on the dry side with an abundance of sunshine throughout the course of our Saturday. But once we get into the later part of today, that's where we're going to start to see some shakeup. As of right now, we have an enhanced risk, which encompasses central and all of southern Wisconsin for us and even areas just to the north, northernmost parts of Illinois this morning. Now, as we take a look, this is what we're going to be seeing in terms of our threats for us. Tornado and hail, well, they're into the elevated risk. We could be seeing a few possible tornadoes that uh, from these storms to be associated. Hail up to a quarter of size, but really these storms are going to be producing some really damaging winds. As we can see, close to around 75 miles per hour of those winds starting to sweep their way through. And this is all coming from these fronts, which is one of the first. Start off with the warm front, which is bringing in the heat and humidity that we're going to be dealing with throughout much of our morning, afternoon, and evening hours until that cold front starts to sweep its way through, which is going to start to shake some things up for us, bringing in those storm chances. But throughout much of today, just note, it's going to be rather quiet. It's going to be hot, though. Don't forget that. There's going to be plenty of sunshine. Temperatures will be into the upper 80s by the time we get to our noon hour, and the heat in the seas will be into the 90s and triple digits by the time we get into our early afternoon as well. Around 4 p.m., just north of the Dells, this is where we should be staying weather aware, looking for our first cluster of some storms starting to sweep their way through southern Wisconsin at a southeasterly track, just clipping Dane County. And then as we get into later this evening towards tonight, we're looking at another line of storms to start to stretch its way across southern Wisconsin with a bit of some Boeing action, which is going to be a key indicator that we are going to see some really high to damaging winds as they sweep through southern Wisconsin going into tonight. Outside of that, though, the good news is overnight we are looking for that rain to really start to subside. But folks, we are going to be looking at quite a large amount of rainfall especially for areas just northeast of Madison. So also be aware, not just of the storms as they're rolling through, but of some potential flood watches as we get into later part of tonight as well. Outside of that, make sure that you are planning ahead and you are preparing for the storms. Have multiple ways to receive uh, any kind of alerts. And of course, you're staying tuned with us here throughout the course of the day. We're going to give you as many updates as possible. But over the next 10 days, here's one thing that is good to know is that we are going to go back to more seasonable weather. Lower 80s, upper 70s. A bit of humidity will stick around, but overall, not too bad of a forecast over the next 10 days once we get past tonight. So just got to get through tonight, and then yep. we got some nice, relaxing weather to enjoy next week. It's going to be just like normal summer next week. I got to love that. Love to hear it. <laughs> All right, Julian, appreciate it. Yep. Now, if you are looking for something to do this weekend and the weather permits... You got an option right here. Milwaukee's Air and Water Show returns today, and it will feature the U.S. Navy Blue Angels. The team is back in Milwaukee for the first time since 2017, and after this weekend, EAA Air Venture also kicks off in Oshkosh on Monday. The city of Madison is celebrating a significant silver anniversary this weekend. This past Monday, July 18th, marked 25 years since the Monona Terrace first opened its doors. It was first proposed by architect Frank Lloyd Wright in 1938, but it wasn't until 1954 that Madison voters approved Wright's plan. Then all the way in 1997, Monona Terrace finally opened nearly six decades after Wright's original proposal. Uh, we were a catalyst for so much of what's happened around downtown in the capital here. Um, for in 25 years, uh, we have generated $697 million in economic impact, held over 16,000 events, conferences, conventions, weddings, uh, reunions, hosted over 2,000 free community events. It's been just a wonderful tourist destination, a community gathering space and an economic catalyst for our community. Tonight, the 25-year anniversary event starts at 6.30 on the rooftop. There will be live music, a dance team, and capping off the night, a special drone show, which would be a first for the city of Madison. Sounds like a lot of fun. Still to come this morning, the latest from the January 6th hearings, including the committee's next steps. 
And there are several new shows and movies to check out this weekend. Will shares his picks in three things to watch. We've got that trending news just ahead. Stay with us. News 3 Now this morning on Saturday comes back after this. Hi, this is Lisa from 4 Imprint. Yes. I like 50 welcome wows, 300 customer I love it, and 200 team member. Oh, yes, certainly. You know, we got some brand new woohoo! Dial up the wow factor with promotional products from 4 Imprint. We specialize in awesome items that are certain to awe and guaranteed to deliver some ooh, yeah. From apparel, backpacks, drinkware to high tech items. Wow. I love it. Woohoo! Go to 4imprint.com and find some wow now. 4 Imprint for certain. Dear gas prices, Toyota's hybrid lineup says, go take a hike, because we bring efficiency with power and savings with style. Think you can stand in our way? We got this. Toyota hybrids. Get 1.9% APR for 48 months on a new 2022 Toyota Corolla, Camry, RAV4, Highlander, or Tacoma. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. At U.S. Insulation, we fix hot homes. Over 7 out of 10 homes are poorly insulated. Is yours? Here are some of the signs. Is your house too cold in the winter? Is it too hot in the summer? Does your furnace and AC run almost nonstop? Do you have different temperatures in different rooms? Are your energy bills too high? You don't need a new home. You need better insulation. And right now, when we foam your walls, we'll insulate your attic for free. U.S.A. Insulation. Should come with me to the Wisconsin. <laughs> Great state of Wisconsin State Fair. Wisconsin State Fair, presented by U.S. Cellular, August 4th through the 14th. What do you do when it's time to get the crew back together? You book it. And then you wine it, and then you dine it, and then you hike it. Whatever your reason, book direct at choicehotels.com. Oh, the kids? At your parents. I ate an hour ago because you completely forgot about the anniversary sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, everything is on sale. That means 50 bucks off every Buena Vista, Summit, and Doctor's Choice Original. Or purchase any Tempur-Pedic and get a $300 gift. Score two Doctor's Choice pillows for only 50 bucks, plus 50 months no interest and free shipping. The anniversary sale only at Denver Mattress. I am frustrated with my own party. You know, we've had 50 years to make Roe into law, but we've failed. And you know what, guys, I'm glad that now that Roe is overturned, you are all now sharing your own personal stories. But I wasn't the only one talking about reproductive rights because for me, this is not an afterthought. If Wisconsin wants to restore its women's rights to choose, they'll send the woman who will get the job done and defeat Ron Johnson. I'm Sarah Dabuski. I approve this message. And taking a look at what we're going to be expecting for today, just a reminder, the SBC has issued a level three out of five enhanced risk for us to see severe storms for today. And that's going to be encompassing central and southern Wisconsin and even areas just to the northernmost tip of Illinois as we get into the rest of our afternoon and evening. But until we get there, folks, it's going to be rather quiet. It will be hot and it will be very humid as well. But just still stay prepared and stay weather aware because we are looking for threats that will be pretty widespread. Red. Tornado and hail are not as high as our winds, but they're still at an elevated risk. So we could still see these, uh, uh, these threats to be associated with any of the storms that start to brew up for us. However, high to damaging winds are going to be the main factor. It's along with heavy rainfall that we're going to be expecting with these storms. Now, again, this is coming up from first. We're going to see that warm front rolling its way in, and then that cold front will start to sweep its way across the upper Midwest, which is where we're going to start to see storms rolling in for us as we get into the later part of this evening. But until then, again, it's going to be sunny, it's going to be warm, but we're not going to be expecting to see those storms come in until we get into around our dinner time hour. We're going to continue to time this out in just a few moments. Until then, back to you, Shane. All right, Julian, appreciate it. And if you're interested in staying inside this weekend, you got a lot of options when it comes to TV and movies. Our Will Loper shares a few of the best in this weekend's three things to watch. Just the old guy. To you guys. 
newly streaming on Hulu is the film All My Friends Hate Me. Listen, Pete, just so you know, you're not doing too well. Been a bit crap, haven't you? What? I just thought you should know. Guys, guys! Everyone has been mean, and I don't know what's going on. You're just a bit anxious. The dark comedy follows Pete, whose friends throw him a birthday party. But he finds himself unnerved by their snarky comments and pranks, and is unsure if it's just social anxiety or something deeper. <laughs> you know, I'm seeing a therapist. That's good. Yeah, we always hope you do that one day. All My Friends Hate Me is streaming on Hulu now. Apparently, one of the funniest guys on the planet. <laughs> Today, we're going to paint a portrait. Pick a partner. That's so good. Can I see yours? That is great. <laughs> Newly streaming on Amazon Prime Video is the romantic comedy, Anything's Possible. How do you know when you have a crash? I have a theory. First Insta store is the person you're thirstiest for. Billy Porter directs the film about Kelsa, a trans high school student navigating a relationship in her senior year. If you don't like me, just tell me. I still want to be your friend. I didn't say that. We could live our own life or spend the rest of our life wondering what if. So, you've officially set the school on fire. Anything's Possible is streaming on Amazon Prime Video now. You are my exceptional daughter, and what is unique about you does not make you hard to love. What do you know about the Sierra program? Reckless mystery men you guys send in when you can't officially send anyone else. The Gray Men. And oh, newly streaming on Netflix rest. is the film The Gray Man. You hurt? I mean, my ego's a little bruised. The big budget action film stars Ryan Gosling as a CIA mercenary who discovers dark CIA secrets, causing him to be hunted by his former colleague Lloyd Hansen, played by Chris Evans. And have something they really want. It's your gut. It's gonna be my funeral you're going to next. You wanna make an omelet? You gotta kill some people. You must be Lloyd. What gave it away? The trash dash, it just, it leans Lloyd. The Gray Man is streaming on Netflix now. Those are the three things you need to watch, and this is Will Loper for News 3 Now this morning. All right, a lot of good options there to tune in this weekend. Coming up next, innovative ways Americans are trying to stay cool during the heat waves. We'll be back after this. The price of gold is at a seven-year high. Get top cash on the spot for your gold at Diamond Select. Cash in today while the price of gold is high. Don't miss out. Get instant cash for your gold today at Diamond Select, downtown Stoughton. It's Fuel Frenzy Weekend this Friday through Sunday at hy V. Get a 16-cent fuel saver on Pepsi six-packs when you buy four. A 10-cent fuel saver when you buy 10 pork chops. A 10-cent fuel saver on two pounds of Driscoll's blueberries. A 10-cent fuel saver when you buy two Nabisco snack crackers. And get a 10-cent fuel saver on M&M's sharing size. Don't miss Fuel Frenzy Weekend this Friday through Sunday at hy V. And check out hyvdeals.com for even more deals. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or prevented only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Mom, Abel's looking for you. Oh, all right. 
As parents, we know that all Wisconsin kids should grow up in a healthy, safe world. As a women's health doctor, I know that access to abortion services is fundamental to personal and economic success. I'm going to fight for financial security so Wisconsin families can succeed and even dream. I'm Jillian Bettino, a mother, a doctor, a fighter, and I'm running for Wisconsin State Treasurer. Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want. And the capability you need to do the job. So you can get to the important work. Find new moments. Find new roads. Enjoy the open road and make no monthly payments for the rest of summer on all Silverado pickups. Plus, get 2.49% financing when you finance with GM Financial. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. From a diamond engagement to a diamond anniversary and everything in between, we shop the diamond capitals of the world so you don't have to. At Diamond Select, we also fix, reset, and remake jewelry too. Diamond Select in downtown Stoughton. Right now, the latest from Ukraine, a major deal in place with hopes to provide relief to the region. And heat and storms threaten our Saturday plans. We'll give you the latest coming up. Good morning and thanks for joining us on News 3 Now. I'm Shane Hogan. We're going to send it right now to Julian. He's going to get us a check on our Saturday forecast. Good morning, Julian. Well, boy, is it going to be hot and quite uncomfortable. As dew points are going to be in the 70s for many of us throughout the rest of our Saturday morning, even going into our Saturday afternoon. We even have a heat advisory in effect for areas just southwest of Dane County that's going to go in effect at noon and will stick around until 8 p.m. this evening. Now, as we take a look at our heat indices in itself, Triple digits for many of us by the time we get into our early afternoon hours. But take notes once we get into the later part of the, today when we're, when we're going to start to see that cold front sweeping through, which will be more comfortable. But then that's where we're going to start to see some, I think, something else that was going to start to shake up our day for us. Thunderstorms that will develop could be severe. And with it, we have some threats as in high winds, hail, and even potentially heavy rainfall with it as well. As we're going to be looking at tornadoes to also be one of those possibilities of these storms that will be sweeping through the southern uh, Wisconsin area and for areas in central Wisconsin. Those hail and tornado are in the elevated risk as of right now, but heavy rain and strong to damaging winds are going to be the enhanced risk for us and one of the higher risks that we will be seeing from the storms that will be sweeping through. However, again, throughout much of this morning and even going into our early afternoon, it's going to be rather quiet, but plenty of sunshine, which is just going to fuel once again those storms that will start to roll in later with the dew points being so high and the temperatures as well we're going to be seeing those storms starting to really take form as we get into the later part of this afternoon and for this evening we'll take a look at what else is going to be expected in a few moments until then let's toss it back to you shane all right thanks a lot julian former president trump and his allies remain unapologetic despite evidence presented thursday during the latest january 6th house select committee hearing it's centered on what the former president did as the attack on the capitol was underway Way. CBS News correspondent Wendy Gillette has more from New York. How do you feel about going to jail? Are you Former Trump aide Steve safer? Bannon gave an interview to Fox News host Tucker Carlson last night after he was convicted of two counts of contempt of Congress for refusing to comply with congressional subpoenas to testify before the January 6th committee. I will never back off. I support Trump and the Constitution, and I'm not backing off one inch. If I go to jail, so be it. Thank you very much. The former president held a rally last night in Arizona for gubernatorial candidate Kerry Lake where he criticized the January 6th hearings. Just a horrible thing that's going on in our country. It's sick. Thursday night, the January 6th committee presented evidence that the former Congress president watched the attack themselves. unfold on television instead of stopping it. He betrayed his oath of office and was derelict in his duty. They gained access to the second floor. New audio of Secret Service agents charged with protecting Vice President Pence captured the terror and danger that day. There were calls to um, say goodbye to family members, so on and so forth. The committee will hold more hearings in September. Wendy Gillette, CBS News. The committee is also investigating deleted messages from Secret Service agents during the time of the attack. The director of the Secret Service says he has told his staff to cooperate with the probe. 
Now to the crisis in Ukraine. The Biden administration announced a $270 million weapons package for Ukraine. Another big development, a deal has been reached that will allow a much needed grain from the region to be shipped to nations on the brink of crisis. Russia's naval blockade of Ukraine's Black Sea ports has trapped more than 20 million tons of grain while the war has destroyed silos and crops, contributing to a spike in food prices around the world. It will bring relief for developing countries on the edge of bankruptcy and the most vulnerable people on the edge of famine. Before the invasion, Ukraine was one of the world's biggest grain exporters, and Russia's been accused of using hunger as a weapon of war, which Moscow has denied. This deal also allows for shipments of Russian fertilizer desperately needed in developing countries, and the UN says it could be fully operational within weeks. But there is zero trust between Ukraine and Russia in many ways that this agreement could still fall apart. New York officials have reported the first U.S. case of polio since 2013. The unvaccinated young adult has developed paralysis. The person had not recently traveled outside of the country. Most Americans are vaccinated against polio. Some health experts are warning monkeypox could become an entrenched sexually transmitted disease, but the head of the CDC believes there's still time to contain it. So far, more than 2,400 cases have been reported here in the U.S. as part of the international outbreak that emerged two months ago. According to the CDC, there are currently six confirmed cases in Wisconsin. The federal government has distributed more than 190,000 doses of the monkeypox vaccine, and nearly 800,000 doses are expected to be available next week. The World Health Organization says coronavirus cases have tripled across Europe in the last six weeks, accounting for nearly half of all infections globally. In the U.S., infections are on the rise in at least 40 states, with the highly transmissible BA5 variant dominating the surge. Yesterday, Dane County moved back into the CDC's high COVID-19 community level, and hospitalizations in the region have seen a gradual increase as well. A pharmaceutical company says it's seeing an uptick in people looking to donate plasma for cash. Griffles manages 300 plasma donor centers in the U.S. The company's senior director of corporate affairs says they have seen an increase in donations in the last few months as more people look to supplement their income. According to Griffles, donors can get paid anywhere from $50 to $100 for each visit to one of their centers, and frequent donors can receive more than $400 a month for biweekly donations. Griffel says the donated plasma is used to help treat diseases and trauma situations. Last night, a banner plane crashed into the ocean in California. The pilot of a small plane was rescued after crashing near the Huntington Beach Pier. Video posted to social media showed the plane tugging a banner behind it as it plummeted into the water. Lifeguards were seen jumping into the ocean to help rescue the pilot, who was the only person on board. The current heat wave has reached nearly every corner of the world. Experts warn rising temperatures are becoming more common and extreme due to climate change. CBS's Ben Tracy shows us how some U.S. cities are taking to the streets to cool things down. Phoenix is trying to beat the heat by turning its black asphalt streets gray. This special sealant reflects rather than absorbs all that hot desert sun. 73 miles of the city is now covered with this. Yes. Kate Gallego is the city's mayor. She says this so-called cool pavement is 10 to 12 degrees cooler to the touch than traditional asphalt. We saw a version of it being made inside this Phoenix warehouse where it goes by the name Solar Gray. And 10 to 12 degrees cooler, that makes a big difference when you're talking about what that's doing citywide. Our residents say they can feel the difference. Climate change is cranking up the heat in the nation's hottest large city. 2020 was Phoenix's hottest summer ever, with 50 days at or above 110 degrees and a record 28 nights when the temperature never dropped below 90. We are seeing every summer higher temperatures, both during the day and less cooling overnight. 
Cities are warming at twice the global average because buildings and pavement absorb and trap so much heat. Phoenix, Los Angeles, and Miami have named chief heat officers to find ways to prevent the often deadly impacts of extreme heat. Here in Phoenix, the number of people who die from homicides every year is about on par with the number of people who die from heat. David Hondula heads the heat response office. In the Phoenix area, heat is now killing about 300 people a year. This is a problem that's only going to get worse. So we need to do better, we need to do more, and we need to be doing it faster. The city is creating 100 cool corridors, planting hundreds of trees whose shade can drop the ambient air temperature by about 30 to 40 degrees compared to full sun. Phoenix is also experimenting with reflective roofs and cooling sidewalks. We could wind up with a Phoenix of the future that's cooler than the one we have today, even as global warming continues. And in a warming world, gray could be the new black. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Phoenix. The extreme heat is having a major impact on those across the pond as well. Earlier this week, the UK's weather service posted on its Twitter account that the temperature exceeded 40 degrees Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit for the first time ever. The post noted the temperature of 40.2 degrees Celsius occurred just before 1 p.m. local time and that temperatures were still climbing in many areas. Still ahead, an update from FedEx, how this could impact your package services. We've got those details coming up. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Donate today. Soak in the savings at the Century House. Right now, get a $100 instant rebate for every $1,000 you spend on any qualifying stressless seating. Don't miss the perfect opportunity to fill your home with the world's most comfortable seating for less. It's time for Stressless, proud to be endorsed by the American Chiropractic Association. Shop The Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. Hi, this is Lisa from 4 Imprint. Yes, I like 50 welcome wows, 300 customer I love it, and 200 team member. Oh, yes, certainly. You know, we got some brand new. Woohoo! Dial up the wow factor with promotional products from 4imprint. We specialize in awesome items that are certain to awe and guaranteed to deliver some ooh yeah. From apparel, backpacks, drinkware to high-tech items. Wow. I love it. Woohoo! Go to 4imprint.com and find some wow now. 4imprint for certain. No jobs too big, no jobs too small. We'll fix them all. Fixing broken garage doors, that's all we do here at Precision. We support the military. We're proud to be veteran owned and operated. Whether it's a broken spring or a new door, we've got you covered. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. Sure feels good when you get it right. And with the number one power toothbrush brand recommended by dental professionals, Philips Sonicare makes it easy for you to always get brushing right. Philips. And my economic plan is moving this country in a better direction. What planet is he living on? Record gas prices, 40-year high inflation, costing families five grand more for their necessities. Sorry, Joe, that's the wrong direction. Here on planet Earth, Senator Johnson voted against Biden's massive deficit spending that sparked inflation. And he passed tax cuts to help Wisconsin families survive the economic turmoil caused by Democrats. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. In the heart of summer, young swimmers and divers compete in what has become the largest outdoor swim meet in the country. I don't think we ever thought we were going to get to this big. How Madison's All-City Swim Dive Meet has now been making a splash for 60 years. Monday on News 3, now at 6. Monona Terrace is celebrating its 25th anniversary. Don't miss this free community celebration Saturday, July 23rd, featuring music, dance performances, and a spectacular drone light show. The event is free, but capacity is limited. Presented by W. Jerome Frouchy and Pleasant Roland Frouchy. 
And another quick update to our threats. Well, we are going to be looking at localized areas that are in those hashings that you see for the hail. Could be seeing baseball-sized hail to be constructed for those areas. Again, that's mainly going to be northwest of Dane County. So areas from Eau Claire even to La Crosse and Wausau. That's where we're going to be looking at the localized uh, strong and high, excuse me, some large-sized hail for us. But we do still have a potential of a few tornadoes to be possible and winds are going to be still one of the main threats along with heavy rain that could be localized flooding for some areas as well to be concerned with going into the later part of tonight. Again, timing things out for us. The early part of our afternoon is going to be fine. The morning is going to be fine. Other than that, it's just going to be hot and rather sunny. But by the time we get into our evening, we're going to be looking at clusters of showers and that line of storms will start to sweep its way through southern Wisconsin by the time we get into our 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock hour. And it is going to start to dissipate itself just a bit once we get closer to midnight at this current track. We'll have more updates of what this is going to be looking like in just a few moments. Until then, back to you, Shane. Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. And liftoff of Starlink 3-2. Go Falcon 9. After a last-minute scrub Thursday, SpaceX successfully launched one of its Falcon 9 rockets yesterday to carry 46 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. Starlink can provide Internet access around the world. Very cool. And FedEx wants to stop making some Sunday deliveries. The service cutbacks start the week of August 15th in areas with smaller populations. FedEx officials wouldn't say exactly which areas will be affected, but a company memo announcing the changes says it will be about 20% of the country. Still ahead, an update on the Mega Millions drawing, where the jackpot currently stands. Good news there, and you're taking a live look over the Capitol. Julian's back with another check on our weekend forecast. Look Who's 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection, a name you can trust when service is a must. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection is here 24 hours a day. Seven days a week for all your residential and commercial plumbing services. From installation, repairs, and maintenance to complete sewer and drain cleaning, we've got you covered. Visit MononaPFP.com. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection, a name you can trust when service is a must. It's dangerous up here, and it's no fun shopping around for a reputable contractor. I've built my company on the promise to treat our customers like we would our own family. That means an honest, no-pressure sales experience, expert craftsmanship, and a lifetime guarantee of our work. We know Gutter Shutter is the best system for you and your home, and we'd love to show you how it can keep you safe and off that ladder forever. So call us or visit us online to set up your free estimate, and we can show you what Gutter Shutter and the Larson Home Experience is all about. As owner of Wisconsin's largest construction company, I have a blueprint, a plan for every project. So here's mine for Wisconsin. I'll stand up to the radical left and their socialist agenda. We'll back the blue and get tough on violent crime. Bad guys, they're not going to like me. I'll crack down on election fraud and keep schools open five days a week, no matter what Fauci says. I'm Tim Michaels, and that's my plan. Now let's get to work. Without the right start to your day, your morning could hit a wall. It's not the door. I got it. Belvita Breakfast Biscuits are baked with slow-release carbs and provide steady morning energy to help you rise and thrive. app and we will send you local breaking news as it happens. The Channel 3000 app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. News 3 Now first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. 
Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Well, we're going to dive right in, folks, because we have a lot to cover. We have a heat advisory in effect for areas just southwest of Dane County until 8 p.m. this evening, but it won't go into effect until noon today. And on top of that, this is what we're going to be seeing in terms of our heat indices. Throughout much of southern Wisconsin, many of us will be into the triple digits of what it feels like because those dew points and the surface temperatures are going to be so high. Already, we're seeing swimmable weather or even just wearing the weather as of right now in terms of our dew points. Because because it's 70 degrees for many of us, and even for Platteville, it's worse than Florida. It's about 78 degrees as of right now, and this is just getting started for our morning. Alert day is in effect because our atmosphere is so prepared for us to see some storms as the cold front starts to sweep its way in later on for to this evening. So we are looking for storms to start to develop, which could be bringing in high winds, hail, and potentially even some tornadoes, which is why we have an enhanced risk. This is mainly because of the damaging potential of winds starting to really start to develop from these storms that will come in later into this afternoon and for this evening. Now take note that the enhanced risk, which is a level three out of five by the SPC, is really encompassing much of central and southern Wisconsin for us. And just outside of it, we still have that slight risk as well. So here's our breakdown for today. Tornadoes, a few of them could be possible for some areas, especially into the highlighted yellow on your screen. And for the hail, any areas, which is mainly northwest, that has that hashings could be seen just a bit of some baseball sized hail, but regardless, we could see some large hail to be produced from these storms as well because of how much heat and uh, saturation that we're going to be seeing from our atmosphere. Now, on top of that, we are going to be looking at winds that could be damaging, reaching around of an excess of 75 miles per hour. Until we get into the, the later part of this afternoon or for this evening, just note, folks, it's going to be quiet, but it's also going to be very hot. Temperatures will be into the upper 80s by the time we get into our noon hour. In the 90s will be sticking around, but this is just on the surface. This doesn't even just touch the heat in the season themselves. But take note as we get into around the 5 p.m. hour, areas just north of Madison, outside of the Dells, going in from Watoma, going into Juneau and Watertown. It's where we're going to start to pay attention. So that's our first cluster of storms. And then our line of storms is going to start to roll its way in, coming in from the north around 8.30, starting off just north of Camp Douglas. And by the time we get into around 10 o'clock, could be seeing those storms starting to stretch its way across from Boscobel all the way to our friends over into Sheboygan going into the rest of our nightly hours close to midnight as well. And we're going to be seeing very large amounts of rainfall from these storms to be produced, especially just north of Madison. And some of these areas could be susceptible to localized flooding. So just make sure that you are being prepared and taking the time throughout the course of today to not only beat the heat, but be prepared for these storms that could potentially start to roll in as we get into the later on to tonight. Make sure you have multiple ways to stay Stay tuned and you have your weather radio uh, ready to go and your alerts ready as well. Here's what we're going to be seeing after today. However, the good news is once we're done with tonight, well, cooler weather ahead if you want to call it cool weather. It's more summer like as we're into those lower 80s and into those upper 70s. A couple of chances of seeing a shower or storm here and there thanks to the humidity. But overall, Shane, once we're done with tonight, it's going to be pretty smooth sailing, which is going to be good for us. Yeah, especially, <laughs> you know, on a weekend, on a Saturday, we need next week to kind of relax a little bit back to some normal weather. And even if today is going to be kind of hectic, at least we have one last day of the weekend. There to be we nice go. With. All right. It's good to look forward to Julian. Yeah. Appreciate you. Some good news for you now this morning. If you haven't gotten in on the Mega Millions jackpot. This is the video from the drawing last night where no matching ticket had all six numbers, meaning the jackpot is now on the rise again at $790 million. There have only been two other jackpots, one in Mega Millions history that were higher than the total is right now. The next drawing for the Mega Millions jackpot is on Tuesday, so if you haven't done so yet, get out, get a ticket this weekend. And stick with News 3 now all weekend. We've got a lot coming to you. One of the candidates for U.S. Senator is getting a big push from a current senator. We'll have that story for you tonight. Plus, Lambeau Field hosting a different kind of football tonight. We've got those details when we come back. Oh, the kids? At your parents. I ate an hour ago because you completely forgot about the anniversary sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, everything is on sale. That means 50 bucks off every Buena Vista, Summit, and Dr. 
Doctor's Choice original. Or purchase any Tempur-Pedic and get a $300 gift. Score two Doctor's Choice pillows for only 50 bucks. Plus 50 months no interest and free shipping. The anniversary sale only at Denver Mattress. Hi, this is Lisa from 4 Imprint. Yes. I like 50 welcome wows, 300 customer I love it, and 200 team member. Oh, yes. Certainly. You know, we got some brand new. Woohoo! Dial up the wow factor with promotional products from 4 Imprint. We specialize in awesome items that are certain to awe and guaranteed to deliver some ooh, yes. From apparel, backpacks, drinkware to high tech items. Wow. I love it. Woohoo! Go to 4imprint.com and find some wow now. 4imprint, for certain. On your spring break, we know that tomorrow is too late. At Precision, we're prepared. We have everything that we need on the vehicle. Fix just about any garage door the same day. We need to take care of these issues right away and get you moving so that you continue on with your life. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. Consumer Cellular has the best customer service. They care about the customer. The best price with the best quality. The prices, the coverage. The coverage is great. It was the same, if not better. Consumer Cellular provides the exact same premium coverage as the nation's leading carriers for half the cost. Switch to Consumer Cellular and get talk, text, and data starting at just $20 a month. It's like four scoops of ice cream for the price of one. Switch today and get a 100% risk-free guarantee. Call or go online. Your city, your place, your time, your favorites, your style. Discover the Madison Club. Award-winning cuisine, private event spaces, reciprocal club privileges, and a premier wedding venue. New member specials available. I want to share my story so others can know that they are not alone. When my mom and dad were first expecting, the pregnancy had complications and there was very little chance of survival. My mom's health was at risk too. She chose to end the pregnancy. It was my decision, not some politicians. Every woman should have the right to make her own decision. And I'll fight alongside you every step of the way until you do. I'm Mandela Barnes and I approve this message. Mission Unstoppable, Saturday morning at 9 on News 3 Now. Finally this morning, we all know Lambeau Field is one of the most iconic venues for American football. Even me, a guy from Chicago. But this weekend, football of a different kind. A match between top European pro clubs will take place at the home of the Green Bay Packers. Nick Harrington has the story. We're hours away from another historic moment at Lambeau Field, as a different type of football will be played for the first time at the iconic stadium. I really like the atmosphere in Houston, so I think tomorrow will be, be very, nice, very nice as well, yeah. Manchester City forward Riyad Mahrez is looking forward to Saturday evening, and on Friday, both teams took reps on the Lambeau pitch for the very first time. But is he a fan of the football we're used to in the States? No, I don't really look <laughs> I've never watched a game to be fair, I don't even know the rules. <laughs> Add Man City head coach Pep Guardiola to that list. But that doesn't mean Saturday's match doesn't hold any significance for him. He just hopes some facilities were a little bit bigger. Yeah, the stadiums are really well. The locker rooms are a little, a little bit small. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But the allure of playing at Lambeau is still there, especially for Bayern Munich head coach Julian Nagelsmann. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, I wanted to pitch already because I have to go here. <laughs> but at the end, uh, it's an impressive stadium. Yeah, I knew it from uh, some games when I watched them on, on television. And uh, as I mentioned, it's a historical stadium. Packers head coach Matt LaFleur and kicker Mason Crosby got a taste of the action during training. And even though Bayern Munich winger Kingsley Coman isn't an NFL fan, playing at Lambeau is a dream come true. It's a pleasure to be here and to play here. And yeah, yesterday was an amazing day. This is something that you see in the TV when you are young or, or even grow up and to be in and to be able to have such an amazing experience was really nice. Now the match takes place tonight at 6 p.m. and will be broadcasted on ESPN and ESPN Deportes. The Packers said tickets have been purchased by fans of all 50 states, 19 different countries, Puerto Rico, Guam, 
and Washington, D.C. Very cool. All right, here's Julian. We're going to get one more check on our weather. Well, Dave, we got to be careful for tonight yeah. and stay weather aware because we are going to be anticipating some storms, not only just for the Green Bay area, but that also encompasses much of central and southern Wisconsin as well. Here's a quick little breakdown of what we're going to be expecting timing wise from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. is when we're going to be expecting the strongest storms to start to sweep their way through. Once again, all modes of severe weather are going to be possible with these storms that roll in. But after today, the good news is, folks, we do at least get one day of not seeing severe weather heading into our Sunday. And next week's going to be looking to be quieter and much more seasonable, Shane. All right, Julian, thanks for tuning in with us this morning. We'll see you back here tomorrow.